and then you know hugging my dad and my mom it's just it's a dream come true how is uh come has been great it's uh i've been there three years i love the choice i made going you know the whl route uh it's it's a tough league it's very hard to play and, and great coaches in Kelowna. you know a lot of players come through Kelowna that are really good so you know Kelowna's been really good for me Yeah, obviously Stamkos, Kucherov, I've watched them for a long time and, you know, I think obviously playing alongside Cal one day will be really cool and I think everyone on Tampa Bay, it's a great organization so I'm looking forward to it. Did you and Cal ever talk about being teammates someday in the NHL or? Yeah, we, we've, we've mentioned it, obviously playing junior together, we didn't, it, it's, it's crazy to now be in the same organization in the NHL so. We didn't think anything of it. We didn't. I mean, we just thought oh, it would be cool. But now it's it's real, and, and I can't wait to celebrate with him. Right. What are your emotions like? What's going through your mind? Your emotions? Like just shaky, you know. <laughs> Happy, smiling, couldn't believe it. Uh, the whole family was up, and, and it just it feels great. Good. Sorry, say that again. It's been a big night for the WHL. Yeah, it's awesome. You see the guys, you know, Doc, Byram. I was fortunate to get become close with them this year in the Canada Russia series and, and prospects games. So I'm happy for them. Happy for the league. It's it's a great it's a great draft. First round. It's a lot of WHL players. So it's it's awesome. Is it kind of comforting and exciting knowing that Cal has been through his first development camp? Yeah, he's giving me lots of advice. Uh, he's, you know, right, you know, leading up to the combine and the draft. He's just, he's been the biggest support all year. You know, we stay in touch lots when he's in Syracuse, so that helped a lot. And uh, just, you know, his help. And he's, he's a great guy. He's a great brother. So it, it's really nice. Did you talk to Tampa Bay at the combine or leading up to this? And mm -hmm. they yeah. Give you clue at all? Or? I didn't have any clue about this at all. Yeah. I, uh, I did. I did talk to Tampa Bay at the combine. It was really good conversation, fun. It was nice. Was your dad a little bit less nervous today than he went through it before with Cal a couple years ago? I don't know. I, uh, I didn't really ask him about how he's feeling. I know right now he's real happy and excited for both of us and to be in the same organization. So uh, I don't know how he feels. Definitely. It's, uh, it's definitely a confidence booster. And uh, I'm excited for for our team to build up for next year. I'm really looking forward to it. It's, it's going to be awesome. And we have some work to do, but I believe in our management and our coaches, and, and, and I believe we're going to be good. What do you model your game after? What kind of player do you have? I'm on my game after Mark Shifley. Just, uh, I, I say Mark Shifley because he's just really good at finding open holes. He's, uh, his hockey IQ is really high. He's got a great shot. And uh, it's like whenever he, his line mates have the puck, he knows where to be. So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be interesting, but at the same time, so cool because we have a really tight connection, we're really close, so it makes it easy. Did you guys play together much as line mates, or? or? Uh, we played, no, never really line mates. I mean, obviously, been playing with like power play and yeah. being on the same time on the ice. So we played a bit of lacrosse growing up together. I had played up a bit with him, but never, never on the same line, no. I asked if there was like a chemistry, a brother chemistry there. I think so. I think there definitely is. Mm -hmm. Couldn't, uh, I, I didn't uh, like uh, think of the feeling that I got uh, before it happened, so uh, I was just super happy when it happened and uh, so many feelings. Not that tough, uh, you know, when it's your turn, it's your turn. Uh, it's uh, fun to see some of your friends get drafted. Uh, of course, super, super happy for them. And uh, so I, I'm just, uh, just uh, happy. I would say that I'm a pretty calm goalie uh, who doesn't want to make any bigger movements than I have to. Uh, but I'm still pretty explosive. I like to stay on my feet pretty much. So, uh, yeah, that's me. Any expectations for your own development timeline? What do you like to take the next step? 
Uh, that's that's something you'll see in a few uh, years or like uh, year for year. Uh, I guess right now it's just for me to focus on uh, right now what I can do now. Uh, so after after the camp and everything, I'm going home, uh, starting starting to train as uh, normal and uh, just trying to get better. Uh, I, I don't think it could have uh, gotten any better. Uh, I mean, uh, I've heard just a lot of great things about Tampa. Uh, so I'm just super thrilled and uh, happy. Yeah, I, I love the way he competes. Uh, I'm a real competitive guy as well, so that's something I really love about him. Uh, my goalie coach back in HV71 is uh, William Rom, uh, super great guy. With well, now we obviously having Move Miller, uh, Ryan Kahn being able to now, worst case, we would place him on long term injury exemption. It gives us a cushion now where we have a little bit of breathing room, yes. Uh, if something comes up, we'd be amenable to that. Um, again, it's not so much about this year's situation. It's more if we don't move Callahan's contract, um, then the performance bonuses are going to be earned this year, going to carry forward into next year, and then I'm going to be in a pickle again next year. I might be in a pickle again next year anyway. That's just part of the course at this point. If you have a lot of good young players, a lot of good players under contract, it's hard to keep everyone. Does this give you a comfort level then? Being able to get Braden Point under contract and not have to uh, uh, I was never concerned. Like uh, I've, I've said from the get-go, I expect Braden to sign with us, and I still think that's the case. How do you, how do you describe where you're at in terms of getting something done with him? Do you have a timetable? Uh, it's a process, and we're probably still very early into the process. Very good. Well, it gives us it gives us a cushion. Yeah, it gives us, obviously it does. It's a big picture trade. Eventually, we had to move some money out, and unfortunately, like JT is the one guy he didn't have the no trade clause. He was the easiest one to move. Yeah. Can you, can you foresee yourself in a position where you get to a number that you're comfortable with, point that? The reality is, every day of the year, you're trying to improve your team. You know, there there are pressure points in the season where this was one this week where everyone everyone's kind of open the business, and then there's another one around the trade deadline. There's something around July one, uh, but you're every day of the year you're looking for ways to improve your team. So whether I had if I had Braden Point on the contract right now, I'd be working. Okay, what else can I do to improve my team? So it never ends. <laughs> Last night we only saw the one trade, it was a draft pick for draft pick. Today it opened up a little bit. Why do you think it was that and during the first round we didn't see much yet? After the first round we saw. I think everyone was holding on to their first round picks last night. It's that simple. That's, that's That feels like an eternity into the future at this point. Yeah, probably, that's probably why.